magandang buhay everyone! I am Shaina Pedragos, uh, together with Jana and Clarine, and we are here to present to you about hand tapping. But before we start, do you have any idea about hand tapping or purpose? Okay, so even if you don't have any ideas, I want you to listen and pay some attention. So let me start by giving you some background information about the history of hand tapping. During the 18th and 19th century, metal working pumps, or also known as tapping, were frequently created by their users, especially if the user was proficient in tool making. Utilizing instruments like lugs and files for the shaping and the smithing of the hardening and tempering. Screw threading, sometimes known as tapping, is a process that uses dies and tops. Some are shaping tools, while others are cutting tools. The female half of the mating pair or a nut is chopped or formed with a top. The male half of the mating pair or a bow is cut or formed using a die. Also, topping refers to the use of a top to cut or produce threads. Alam naman natin ngayon kung ano nga ba ang topping. Topping, the process of cutting a thread inside a hole so that the cup screw or bolt can be thread at the hole. Ang tapping ay ang pagbubutas kung saan gumagamit tayo ng tinatawag na top o thread top. Ano nga ba ang thread top? Ang thread top ay ang holes na mayroon ang tapping. So let me show you what are the parts of a thread top. As you can see, we have a tongue, shank, body, then yung pinakadulo niya which is flute, heel, land, and cutting paste. So sa body, yun yung ginagamit para makapagkat sa loob ng butas. dalawang uri ng paggamit ng tapping. The first one is the hand tapping and the second one is the machine tapping. Ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ng dalawa? Hand taps are usually two or three taps. Ito ay gawa sa alloy or carbon steel and nagkakaroon ng hugis na square sa pinakadulong bahagi ng tap. Hand taps are made in sets of three. Meron tayong copper tap, the plug tap, and the potong ng tap. So, bottom taps ay nagkakaroon ng 1 to 2 chamfered threads, around 18 degrees per side. Ito ay ginagamit sa pinakaunang part ng tapping, which is nagpo-produce ng threads close to the bottom of blind holes. The second one is the plug top. Ito naman ay nagkakaroon ng 3 to 5 with the 8 degrees per side. Mas malalim ito kumpara sa bottom taps. Then the last is the top top, which has a 7 to 10 threads at 5 degrees per side. And ito ang pinaka-finishing ng tapping high speed steel. Hindi ito katulad ng hand tap na mayroong square end. And dito ang mga thread taps using machine taps. Siyempre, bago maganap ang tapping, may mga bagay tayong kailangan gamitin. Center punch. Ito ay ginagamit to start a hole or pwede na din sabihin para makapag-mark ng hole na sinusunda ng pagbibita. Hand grip. Siyempre, dahil hand tapping ang gagamitin natin, we need to use is the hand drill. So, we need to drill the mark point to start a hole followed by a thread tap. Top and die set. Ang top and die set ay naglalaman ng mga sizes and types of thread tops and thread dies. But we need only one thread top na may correct size sa drill bit. Thread dies. Ang thread dies ay ginagamit sa pagkakat ng thread. Ito ay yung kinakabit sa T-handle. Ang thread dies ay may two types. Meron tayong adjustable die and then a solid die. And adjustable dies are used to cut internal right hand threads. Ito ay adjustable para makapagkat ang maliliit na thread. And sa solid dies naman ay ginagamit sa pagkakat ng internal threads and sa mga oversized na threads. T-handle. T-handle allows you to turn tops and help make screw threads. Karaniwang ginagamit naman dito ay ang adjustable top handle para sa mga sizes ng thread dies. Fluid. Ang cutting fluid ang required is yung mas suitable. And remember, ipinagbabawal ang paggamit ng mga cutting oil sa brass and sa mga cast iron. Gloves. And syempre, hindi mawawala ang safety sa paggawa ng cutting. Kailangan natin gumamit ng gloves to protect our hands from risk. And now, we will be discussing to you the working steps or process for hand tapping. First, we need to select the correct size and type of top for a job, whether it is blind hole 
or two hole. Second, select the correct top wrench for the size please. And the next is, use a suitable cutting fluid because by using cutting fluid, we can lessen the possibility of overheat. Then, place the top in the hole as near to vertical as possible. So, ilagay natin yung top sa butas at iposition natin nearly vertical para di ma-deform or masira yung ating bubutasan. Next is apply equal down pressure on both handles and turn the top clockwise for about 2 turns. So, yung i-apply natin pressure ay equal sa both sides ng handle para pantay yung pagbaba ng ating top. Uh, sa so pag-turn ng top, kailangan in clockwise direction and about 720 degrees or 2 turns. Then, remove the top wrench and check the top for squareness. Check at two position at 90 degrees to each other. So, sa pag-alis ng top wrench ay kailangan natin suriin ang top para sa squareness sa pagkakapantay nito. Kailangan din natin suriin sa dalawang side na 90 degrees na bawat side ang top. Next is, after nitong masukat ng 90 degree, maaari na natin isagawa ang pagbubutas. Sa pagtatap na ito ay dapat dahan-dahan dahil maaaring masira ang thread top. Kailangan nating lagyan ng konting cutting fluid, then gamit ang T-handle, dapat maayos and straight yung pagpupush pa baba sa top. After itong mapush pa ikot, you need to know now is to pull back para matanggal yung mga excess na thread sa loob and para mas mapabilis at mapalalim ang butas. Makikita na effective ang paggamit ng cutting fluid dahil para mas mapapabilis at para hindi maganit ang pagbubutas. And remember again, don't take too much pressure. Rotate it nicely to avoid broken tops. Hello guys! It's me, Clarine. And at this moment, we will talk about the tips for hand topping the perfect hole. Threading a drill hole may seem like a simple procedure, right? But nothing can go wrong if we don't take the proper precautions with using hand tops. So for now, I'm gonna share with you some tips to ensure a smooth and nice tops at the time. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Number 1. Know the drill. Store tops with your matching drill bits to ensure you use the right top for a fastener. Holes that are too large can result in too shallow threads that can strip or fail to engage the fastener sufficiently. Otherwise, if the holes are also too small, it can bind the top or chip by forcing it to remove too much materials. So it is really important that we are aware how to use conversions and top or drill charts to calculate the correct hole size. Tip number two, stay sharp. Only hard, sharp hand tops can be counted on to perform a job correctly. It means use only high-speed steel tops from respected manufacturer you trust. If meron kayong mga dull tops, I suggest replace it promptly because dull tops must work extra hard to cut threads into work pieces. This compounded work crease, chipping the teeth or breaking off a top inside the hole, and it's really a nightmare. So, stay sharp. Tip number three, be a straight shooter. To produce the most precise threading, take the time to ensure that the top enters the hole perfectly straight because a straight start also helps produce first friction and second, possible breakage. The hole will try to force a misaligned top to straighten as it moves along. So a good tops help assure a good start and their long chambers follow more heat to engage in the threading process, reducing stress on the top. Tip number four, tops are brittle, so we need to handle with care. In order for tops and dies to cut, they must be harder than the materials they are cutting. This additional hardness also makes them brittle, meaning they can easily be broken. And that's something you want to avoid at all costs, right? So it is always preferable to use proper T handles for tops rather than wrench or locking pliers. The later two works in a pinch, but you must be careful because turning a top from one side only can put asymmetrical stress on the other side or on the other top, causing it to go off the center or break. But using T handle, it will keep the force applied over the center of the top or die, and it maintains proper symmetry. Again, tip number four, handle with care. And again, this is our presentation for topping. Thank you!